Hello, this is Michael Jones with MJ Reviews, and today I'll be doing a review on this clock. This clock is made by Lacrosse Technologies. As you can see right there, it says Lacrosse Technologies. Um, and let's talk about the outside of this clock before we get to the inside. So we have a power cord over here. Um, I like clocks that have power cords, so that way I don't have to continuously replace the battery. Um, it does have a battery port here, so that way in case it does die, or the, sorry, the power goes out, it shouldn't lose the the time and the date and everything like that and the power cable looks like this if that's what you're wondering the top one um, now those are annoying because they take up an end of a power strip as you can see my power strip is all part tumult but it has a nice long wire so I don't know if you can see over there nice long wire so that's pretty good um, let's talk about the rest of this unit the outside at least on both sides are air ventilations I think or something or the other um, and we have the power uh, the compartment over there, as you can see. And there is a USB port. Now, let me tell you what this USB port. It is 1.0 output, which means it charges pretty normally. Is it actually 1.0? I didn't test it. I do have a tester, but I did not test it. Um, and then on the back, it says all this fun stuff. It has the um, lacrosse technology situation over there. It'll tell you all the model numbers and the support and everything. Um, and it also has... Uh, tells you that when it's searching for um, AC, whatever it's called, the LCD will turn off and it does get randomly in the middle of the night. It will just get dark and I notice it because it's very bright or it could be very bright if you set it to very bright. Um, I'll show you that in a second. And if you hold down, it'll search for the um, it'll search for atomic reception if you hold down on the minus for two seconds. Okay, let's get to the and also this is you know angled. Okay, so it's a pretty small clock, like I said. Now, right now you can't really see anything, but there are one, two, three, four, four, uh, or three, just three different modes, dark, light, and, um, like really bright. So really bright, it's honestly, it's hard to sleep for people that don't like light. So you might have to put it like this and that's fine when it, when it's dark, if you don't have any lights on, this is like, you can see this well. Um, and then you can have just completely dark and it's very hard to tell even at night. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to make it light. Now it has random things like moon phase. Like, I don't know why you need to know that, but it's kind of cool. Um, it has the time, AM, PM. If you turn an alarm on, it'll also say that. There is uh, inside temperature. I don't know why it says in. Like, of course it's in because it can't be outdoor. And an arrow um, to tell you which way the wind is. I don't know. And then the day, the date, and the humidity, which also has an arrow. I like that it has seconds, it's good for some things or the other. Um, there are a bunch of buttons on top, which I'll show you as soon as I turn the alarm on. So that way, okay, so we're hearing the alarm. Um, so I've just set the alarm to 4.09. Um, now we go back to the time. Okay, before I turn on the alarm, let me show you that it goes to Celsius and Fahrenheit. It does have the button right here. It's this button up here, uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit, minus and plus light and high and low off switch and snooze switch and alarm now i'm still trying to figure out how to use alarm i never honestly use alarm but you could see the alarm would be right there technically and there would be a bunch of fun stuff there if the battery was low we'll tell you the battery is low over there um and it says what um what time zone it is over there too so if i did minus held it down it would start searching for atomic and you would not be able to see anything because yeah, so it's searching, as you can see. Um, but we don't need to because this is actually the right time. And what else? I'm still trying to figure out how to set the alarm. Sorry. Okay, so to set the alarm, to turn on the alarm, alarm on, you just press alarm. It'll bring you to the alarm page and press the button. And you see that bell, it's going and coming. Um, how loud is it? By the way, when you do hold down on it, it'll go fast. Or you could just simply just click the clickers. And now the alarm is set to 4.57. And if you go back to time, you'll see it's 4.53. So, so it's set to go off at 4.55. I just changed it to 4.55. Um, and you'll see how loud it is. There we go. And that's how it rings. Um, and it'll keep on going a little bit faster and faster. Now it's in the double beeps. Triple beeps by 20 seconds. And as you can see, this um, does flash. By 30 seconds in, it's very annoying, and it's very loud also. 
and it'll go for a full minute. And more, apparently. Okay, so since I don't want to hear it um, very long, you can uh, just assume that it'll turn off um, after two minutes, I think. So, um, that's the clock. I like it. I never use alarm. Um, I don't know if it goes back on after five minutes or something. I put snooze on and then I turned it off. So, I don't know how long the snooze goes either. And sorry, I'm not just doing the thing on that. This is a light review. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you.